I initially wanted this to be a harmony. Where are you going to? But, but, does not work. Because at the, at this point, where are you going to is an action. They are leaving. If you told me you love me at the moment that I'm breaking up with you, oh my gosh, ah, that's even more reason to break up with you. So therefore, where are you going to is her being alone, right? I do. Where are you going to? And I, I don't want people thinking I was like sniffing on purpose to be like dramatic. I actually was sniffing that day I was recording vocals and I just was like, ah, it sounds sad. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I have a bus. Let's start off with uh, how I did it. Hewing was the most challenging because initially I recorded the song with a 414 in AKG, but I didn't like the emotion I was portraying and I wasn't enunciating and it just, eh. So then I came back home and I redid almost everything on my NT1A. Um, as you can see, I started off with a very, I didn't, this is not the commercial I started with. This is the last one actually. So we're gonna put you here. Um, I started cutting obviously the low end and I find that I'm pretty nasally around a thousand ish like like this is like a very nasally area for me I do not know why but cut those left everything else didn't find any other problem frequencies so then I went and I started boosting I really like oh my gosh I, I don't know what is up with this area this area I don't like very much like the 150 it's 200 I it, it boosts to sometimes where it can be a bit muddy but for this song it worked and I was like eh. <laughs> eh. Um boost at 1, 1400 and then boost at 3000 again. Um didn't want a lot of sibilance in the song, the song is on the darker side. And it's funny because I remember I used to think like EQing had to look crazy and like hard. But like it's really just what it sounds like. It's not a matter of like the visual. Threshold is at negative thirty three. And I have a really like um no knee. There's no knee because I don't. I just don't like the way it sounded. It just threw me off. <laughs> There's no real reason. Attack, mit, like, eh, release, heavy release. Why, once again, I did not want it being that aggressive. I really just wanted it to be like, tame, tame it out. This is an, this is an intense emotion and it cannot be at 100 the entire time, tame it out. I have a directional mix. I love imagery and imaging and mixing and I don't think it's talked about very much I'm obs it's my favorite thing ever like my favorite th it every single thing is direct directionally mixed directionally panned favorite thing ever um I have it at 90 which is not too wide but it's not too um direct it's just like a perfect like talking range perfect head your, your head space that's how I visualize it I do have is the towel reverb 4 which is I have mixed feelings about this plugin because sometimes it's great and sometimes it's like it's like oh you're excessive but um I have it at 56% 57 if you want to round um, and I did do the trick of 60,000 if you have no idea what, what trick I'm, uh, I did do the math trick regarding the reverb if you have no idea what I'm talking about it is when you take you take 60,000 divided by the BPM until you get like a perfect uh, percentage and that's the reverb that you want to be in time with your song you cannot hear the reverb that much I'm not a fan fun fact I'm a vocalist so I'm not that big a fan of like reverb I'm not that big of a fan um but there it is I just like it being like kind of on like the most like perfect side where like it's a kiss of reverb but it's not too much. So yeah, so that's um that was my first time at uh that was my first time bussing for like one of my songs. I've done it for school assignments, but school assignments, this is one of my first songs that I was like, I'm gonna bus a whole plug-in. <laughs>